Hey, uh, it's World Mental Health Awareness Week, which starts today. So in honour of that, I thought I'd share a video. Um, it's a practice, a follow along practice, and it's the kind of stuff that I do uh, at Haringey, um, Minding Haringey, at Rethink Mental Health, and Harrow, stuff that I teach at Triode in my mental distress class, and also in the, in the drug alcohol uh, rehabs that I work for as well. So um, there are two things that you need to be aware of um, when you practice Hatha Yoga in any class. Um, stability and ease. So the two qualities you need are stability and ease physically. So don't overstretch. There shouldn't be any pain at any time. If there is, that means something's not right for you. Okay, so make some adjustments so that when you're practicing physically, it's pain free. Um, Stability and ease with the breath as well. So the breath should always be steady and easy. So if I ask you to do something, the breath is going to change. If it becomes really difficult, you know, back off. Do whatever it takes to get the breath steady and easy. And the most important thing, the thoughts of the mind, always steady and easy. So again, uh, if your thoughts are going off here, there, or everywhere, bring them back to the practice. Okay? Uh, rest anytime you need to and enjoy the practice. Now, uh, with regard to the breath before we begin, um, if you are feeling anxious right now, um, then you might wanna think about um, doing equal breathing or maybe even making the exhale slightly longer than the inhale. Uh, if you feel that you wanna balance the nervous system, then do equal breathing. Uh, if you're feeling depressed at the moment, if you're low energy, then maybe make the inhale a bit more dominant. Um, so the inhale is maybe slightly stronger or maybe slightly longer than the exhale is, okay? So by focusing on the inhale, this uh, invokes a, a sympathetic response, a sympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system. So that's the active response, flight, fight, freeze um, is the extreme of that. And the exhale parasympathetic, which is rest, and digest, feed and breathe. Okay, so by focusing on the exhale, we're going to relax. By focusing on the inhale, we get more energy. And by doing equal breathing, um, it's going to balance the nervous system. So I leave it up to you um, when you're practicing, following on at home, how you um, how you you do your breath for yourself. Um, and yeah, enjoy the practice. Okay, okay so today's practice uh, is a supine practice, which means we'll be lying down. So make sure you've got whatever device you're watching this on um, where you can see it so you don't have to keep getting up um, to look at it, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start lying on our backs in this position, Shavasana. So I'd like you to first of all, uh, push the back of your head into the floor and as you do that, this is going to lift your chest slightly. You can draw the shoulders away from the ears. And then lift your head slightly, lengthen the back of the neck, so chin in a little bit, and then place the head back down. Lift your hips up a few inches, a few centimetres, lengthen the tailbone away from you, so the lower back uh, lengthens, and place the hips back down. And then just let your feet flop out to the sides. Uh, the feet are 30 to 45 centimetres uh, apart. Um, and the palms of the hands kind of facing the body or up, whatever's comfortable. And you don't want to have your upper arms touching the ribs. If, it, if they are, it's going to restrict your breath, okay? So you want to have them spaced and spaced. So I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and just take your awareness inside to your physical body first of all. We're going to do a body scan. We're going to start at the crown of the head and we're going to work our way down to the tips of the fingers and to the tips of the toes. So scan your body and just look for anything that's going on physically for you right now. Scan your body, start at the crown, work your way down. Just noticing and observing what's happening for you physically right now. So once you've made your way down to the tips of the fingers, to the tips of the toes, work your way back up again. So do this twice just so you really got a good sense of what's happening and you're not missing anything there.
Okay, so once you've scanned your body, scan your mind. Just notice what's happening mentally for you. Is your mind racing around full of thoughts? Is it a bit slow and sluggish? Is it clear? Is it calm? Is it focused and relaxed? Just notice that and observe. Emotionally, how are you feeling? So I just remind you that okay is not a feeling, but it's okay to not know how you're feeling. Energetically, what's happening? How do you feel the energy moving in the body? Do you feel it more in the head? Do you more feel it more in the feet? Do you feel some blockage somewhere? And last of all, we're going to take the awareness to the breath. So just notice the breath. Notice your resting inhale. Notice your resting exhale. Notice the areas where the breath feels smooth. Notice the areas where the breath feels restricted. Count the length of your resting inhale and count the length of your resting exhale. And just make a mental note of that. And then we're gonna place the hands onto the lower belly. And we're gonna see if we can bring the breath into the hands. Now, it might be easier to have the knees bent when you do this, so just see if you can guide the breath into your hands. And this lower belly breathing, this is related to the parasympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system, the ANS. So this is your relaxation response. Just take a few breaths there. See if you can feel the breath um, into your lower belly. So as you inhale, the belly will expand. And as you exhale, the belly draws in towards the spine. And if you can't feel it there, don't worry. Just see what, what you can do. And next we're going to take the hands onto the side ribs, middle fingers touching maybe. And as you inhale, you're going to breathe into your hands, which are on the side of your body. So breathing laterally, so the fingers will part as you inhale, and as you exhale, the ribs narrow, and the fingers draw together. And continue. So you may find this hard. And if you do, don't worry, there's exercises we can do for that. And next we're going to take the hands above the breast, fingers onto the collarbone. And we're going to, again, bring the breath into the hands. So inhale here and let the chest lift. And as you exhale, just let the chest fall. So this upper chest breathing is related to the sympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system. Notice again, does it feel easy? Was the breath already there? Is this difficult for you? And then we're going to take the hands away back into our resting position and see if when you inhale you can feel the belly expand, the side ribs widen, and the chest rise. And as you exhale, the chest falls, the ribs narrow, and the belly gently draws in. So continue with this long, deep breathing. Keep a softness to the breath at all times, even though we're extending the breath. Ayama means extend. Prana is the energy through the breath, um, mainly through the breath. So extending the breath, but the breath should always have a satisfying feel to it, okay? So we're going to do some movement now. Remember, rest if you need to. And if there's any pain, 
uh, is wrong for you. So we're going to begin inhaling. And as we exhale, we're going to take the knees over to the left. And then we're going to inhale the knees back to the center. And then we're going to exhale the knees to the right. And continue inhaling to the center, exhaling to the left, inhaling to the center and exhaling to the right. Now when you do this, try to make the breath the driver of the movement. So you begin inhaling or you begin breathing and then the movement starts. Uh, perfection is when the movement finishes before the breath does. But if you start breathing and moving and finish breathing and moving at the same time, that's fine. What you're looking to avoid doing is moving and then breathing. Okay, so make the breath the most important thing. So we've done an even number on both sides. Let's bring the feet together close to the bottom and we'll continue. So knees to the side as you exhale, inhaling back to the center, exhaling to the other side. So with the feet apart, the first thing we did in the feet away from you, this is for your hips and your sacral area. And now you see with the feet closer together, it's more of a twist. So it's coming into the back, lower back a bit more. And we'll do one more either side. And then coming back to the center. Just take a moment. Let's interlace the hands behind the right thigh. Now, if you need, um, if you feel like going a bit strong today, straighten your left leg out along the floor. If not, keep the left knee bent. We're gonna move in and out of two postures. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna straighten the right leg up to the ceiling, point the toes towards your head. Keep your uh, sacrum flat on the floor. And as you exhale, bend the knee. Don't force it in, but just use the exhale to create space and guide the knee in towards the chest. If you're flexible, take the knee towards the shoulder a bit more. Okay, inhale, stretch the leg up for two, and guide it in as you exhale. Inhale, stretch it up for three. Good, guide it in as you exhale. And then we're gonna inhale it up for four, and we're gonna hold, we're gonna circle the foot four or five times one way, four or five times the other way, and pointing and flexing even number of times. Once you've done that, take an inhale. And as you exhale, tighten your abs slightly, raise your body just a little bit, walk your hands up your leg and find a comfortable place to hold. So if it's very easy for you to take the foot, take the foot, okay? If it's not, just hold in a comfortable place, yeah? And we've got the head lifted. If you've got neck problems, just back off a bit and have the head down. If you find yourself bending your knee, you're doing too much. So hold behind the thigh, back up a bit and stretch more through the foot. Okay, we're gonna hold here 20 to 30 seconds, which is about now. And then we're gonna release down to the floor. Just tighten both legs, just take a moment, just to observe any difference. And then we'll bend the knees. Interlace the hands behind the left thigh, stretch it up as you inhale, guide it in as you exhale. Inhale, stretch it up for two, guide it in as you exhale. Inhale, stretch it up for three, guide it in as you exhale. We're gonna inhale, stretch it up for four, hold, and we're gonna circle the foot. A few times one way, whatever you did on the other side, a few times the other way, pointing, and flexing, and then take an inhale, and we're exhaling, raise the body, walk your hands up your leg, find that nice comfortable place to hold, and hold the pose. to the floor and again straighten both legs and observe notice any pose okay let's take the hands um, have the hands behind the head to begin we're going to do some core strengthening stuff 
Um, so I'm lifting the head, um, but my, I'm doing this with my arms, I'm keeping my neck relaxed. And then I'm going to bring my sternum towards my pubic bone so that my abs are engaged. And this is what's keeping my shoulders slightly off the floor. I'm going to do some leg lifts. So we'll straighten the legs. If your back feels like it's arching, if it feels uncomfortable, then you could do this with bent knees. Maybe do a smaller movement. You can maybe take the hands underneath the bottom or stop. Again, if you've got neck issues, keep the head down. Okay. So I'm going to do it like this to begin with. If you're feeling strong today, have both feet slightly off the floor. We're going to inhale the right leg up to 90 degrees. We're going to exhale it down again. Left leg up as you inhale, and exhale down, right leg up, and down, left leg up, and down, that's two, right leg, and down, left leg, that's three, right leg up, and down, left leg, that's four, right leg, and down, left leg, that's five. Now we're gonna take both legs up, so I'm placing my hands under the bottom here, because I like the support it gives me for my lower back. We're going to exhale down, inhale up for two, and exhale back down, inhale for three, exhale down, inhale four, exhale down, inhale five, and slowly release to the floor. Give your tummy a massage in the clockwise direction, the di uh, direction of your digestion. And then we're going to bring the knees to the chest. Let's just rock from side to side, give the back a massage. Take each knee in each hand. Let's do alternate circles with the knees. A few one way, and a few the other way. Let's do a few of the knees together, a few circles one way, and a few the other way. And then we're going to keep the knees to the chest, a little bit more core strength stuff, arms out to the side. We're going to take an inhale here as you exhale, take your knees, go to the left. Inhale to the centre, we're going to exhale to the right. Now, try to keep your legs relaxed here, try to keep your hips relaxed, and we're using the core here to move. Okay, so really try to do this movement as much as you possible from your core. So moving side to side, maybe each time going a bit further. So if you feel you want more of a twist here, knees are closer to the chest. If you want to work a bit stronger, take the knees out from the hips, so it makes it a bit stronger. If you're feeling very strong and very flexible, then you can do this with straight legs and you're bringing the feet over in towards the outstretched hand. One more time on either side. And we're going to stay over to the left side now. I'm going to do some rotational work a bit more. Let's work on the chest now. So we're going to inhale the right hand up. We're going to exhale it on top of the left hand. So all 10 fingers touching and we're going to inhale it up and we're going to exhale open. Inhale and then exhale. Inhale and then exhale. One more time. And then opening out into your twist and we're going to circle that right hand now. Big circles. One way. Let's do three. One way, and then reverse, nice big circles, as big as you can, and then we're going to hold our twist open, bring the knees back to the centre as you inhale, and we're going to exhale them over to the right this time. We're going to inhale the left hand up and we're going to exhale, palms together. Inhale it up, exhale, open. Inhale, exhale, palms. Inhale and exhale, open. One more time. And then hold the twist open. 
Let's do some circles. We're going to take the hands down past the hip, past the knee, all 10 fingers brushing. Three circles one way, big, big circles. And then we're going to reverse three the other way. And then we're going to hold our two circles. Let's go back with two. And then come back to the center, hug the knees in just one time, just to reset the hips and the spine, and then place the feet back down again. Okay. So arms next to the body now, palms facing down. We're going to do something called Bhupada Pitam, which is bridge with arm movements. The arms move faster uh, than the hips because they've got further to travel. Try and follow along. Inhale, lift your hips up and reach your arms back behind you. Engage your glutes, reach your fingers back. Keep the backs of the hands on the floor if you can. As you exhale, roll the spine down, vertebra by vertebra. So the tailbone tucks, so the sacrum comes down last. And then keep your hands reaching back as you inhale, lift those hips up again. And as you exhale, this time, we're gonna bring the arms down, we're gonna roll the spine down. Inhale, lift the hips up, bring the left arm back. Turn the head to the right. If the neck feels happy, keep it facing the right. If not, head to the center as you exhale, Roll the spine down. Keep that left arm glued to the floor if you can. Inhale, lift the hips up again. And we're gonna exhale the head to the center, bring the arm down. Inhale, the hips up, right arm back this time. Turn the head to the left. Roll the spine down as you exhale. Good, inhale the hips up again. And as you exhale, head to the center, arm come down. Inhale, both arms back, lift the hips up. Reach your fingers back and then sweep the arms wide, roll the spine down as you exhale. And we're gonna inhale, sweep the arms wide, lift the hips up, reach the arms back. Exhale the arms down over the head. One more time, inhale, lift the hips up, reach the arms back, roll the spine down as you exhale. Inhale, lift your hips up, sweep the arms wide, reach your arms back, exhale the arms down over the head. Straighten your legs, take a moment. Now, bring your feet together. Bring your right knee to your chest. Take your left hand onto your left hip. Right hand on your right knee. We're gonna inhale the right knee to the right. Exhale back to the center. Inhale, take it out for two. Exhale, bring it back to the center. Inhale out for three. Exhale back to the center. We're going to inhale it out for four. We're going to hold here for four breaths. Make sure your foot is off the floor. Keep the knee kind of close towards the chest. Elbows on the floor as a brace to assist with some support later. At the end of your four breaths, take your right hand to the inside of the thigh above the knee. We're going to inhale, stretch the leg out to the side for one. We're going to bend the knee as you exhale. Inhale, stretch it out for two. Bend the knee as you exhale. Inhale, stretch it out for three. Bend the knee as you exhale. We're gonna inhale, stretch it out for four. Hold here, four breaths. And then we're gonna bring the right knee back to the chest, hug it in with both hands. Take your arms to the side here, inhale here. And as you exhale, let's take a twist to the left. Lift your hip up and over. Inhale, lie down on your back. Exhale, twist again to the left for two. Inhale, lie down on your back. Exhale, twist again for three. Inhale, lie down on your back. Exhale, twist again for four. We're gonna hold here for four breaths. Now you can, if you wish, take your left hand to your right knee and just deepen the four. No pinching and no pain in the back here. Should be feel, feeling really nice. Four breaths here. And at the end of your four breaths, come back 
hug the knee in one time and then straighten the legs. Again, take a moment. Bring the feet together and bring your left knee to your chest, right hand to your right hip. Inhale the knee to the side for one, exhale bring it back. Inhale, take it out for two, exhale bring it back. Inhale it out for three, exhale it back. Inhale it out for four, hold here for four breaths. Hand on the inside of the thigh, just above the knee. We're going to inhale, stretch the leg out to the side for one. Bend the knee as you exhale. Inhale, stretch it out for two. Bend the knee as you exhale. Inhale, stretch it out for three. Bend the knee as you exhale. Inhale it out four. Hold four breaths. And then we're going to bring the knee into the chest, hug it in, hug it in, hug it in one time. Arms out to the side, reverse the breath, inhale. And as you exhale, draw the belly in and we're going to twist over to the right now. Lie down on your back as you inhale. Exhale, twist to the right for two. And lie down on your back as you inhale. Exhale, twist to the right for three. Lie down on your back as you inhale. Exhale, twist for four, and we're going to hold for four breaths. Again, take your hand to your knee if you wish, and the left arm's out to the side, and slightly above the shoulder. At the end of your four breaths, come and lie down on your back, hug your knee into the chest, and then straighten. Straighten both legs. Let's hug the knees in one time. Inhale, bring the nose up to touch the knees. Exhale, take the head down. Inhale. And then exhale. One more time. And exhale, come down. And straighten the legs now. And relax.